Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a little bit of a different kind of video. So back when I first started doing big perfume declutters, I went through this phase where, well, it wasn't when I first started doing them. I've always kind of decluttered as I, you know, buy more. But when I start, first started doing really big declutters, um, I felt like I needed to keep decants of these fragrances in my collection so that I could refer to them um, or so that I could have them on hand for reference or if I ever just felt like I wanted to wear one again, it would be there. Um, I'm glad I only did this a couple of times because I don't recommend it. Um, I got, these are just like atomizers, glass atomizer, atomizers that you can pick up from Amazon. I feel like when you decant into atomizers like this, that the fragrance, the perfume is exposed to a ton of oxygen and I feel like it starts changing the fragrance pretty immediately. Um, I've got a ton of evaporation in all of these so they're definitely not airtight and I feel like all of these fragrances are definitely going to go off sooner rather than later. So if you are gonna decant, these are the best kinds of atomizers to get. These you can pick up off of Amazon too. They're just pretty pricey. Um, somebody sent this, these, uh, she sent like three of these over to me. These are the kind where you, you can, you decant it correctly by press, taking the little cap off. Like you press the bottom onto your perfume bottle and it decants properly. Um, these I end up just spraying into the decant and if it's um, if you know you're gonna use your decant like this up pretty quickly or you're just decanting something to send to somebody and they're probably gonna use it up pretty quickly um, I think it's totally fine for that but for what I did it just wasn't a very good idea but anyways um, I wanted to go through this tub this little bin and all these fragrances that I have um, and talk about whether I regret getting rid of them or not do I regret decluttering them because I did I saw this the other day, I picked it up, I started going through it and started pulling fragrances that I feel like need to be used up before they go off. Um, and as I was going through them, I was like, darn, there are a couple in here that I absolutely regret um, letting go of. And I just thought it would be fun to go through these and let you guys know if, you know, what I regret parting with, what I don't regret. Um, so yeah, I've got a ton. Let's just jump right in. This first one here, this is actually, um, I had a bunch of little samples of this. This is Avon Peony Rose. Yeah, these. this is a fragrance that I just had a bunch of samples of, so I just went ahead and put it into an atomizer, and I actually really like this fragrance. Yeah, it's, it's super, like, it's a super generic fruity floral kind of fragrance, but it's nice for, you know, for what it is. It's really pretty, so yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that up because this one will definitely go off really soon if I don't. I'm surprised. Um, I've had these decants for probably three to four years now, and I don't think that any of them have completely gone off. But I have gotten a, there's been a lot of evaporation. Um, okay, I've got some smaller ones too, so I'm just gonna go back and forth. Um, some of the smaller ones were fragrances that I really just didn't care for, so I only felt like I needed a little tiny bit of it. This one is called, oh no, this one is another one. This one I didn't not like. This is another one that I just had samples of, and so I just put it into a an atomizer. Um, this is Pink Flamingos from Prada. This is actually a really pretty fragrance. Um, would I pay the price for it? No, because these fragrances Oh, it's so good. These fragrances from Prada are really nice. This is, I think this is an iris fragrance, but it's like a bright, it's bright. It's really pretty. So yeah, I want to use that up because I definitely don't want it to go bad. I've also got a Tainted Love, which is, I've used it once already and I'm almost, um, I think one more good use and that one will be gone. Um, Okay, next we have our Moth Eternia. This one I don't dislike. In fact, I think it's really, really pretty. But yeah, I just felt like I didn't need it. Um, this is a pretty darn good spot on clone of, ooh, now I'm kind of regretting this one. This is a pretty darn good spot on clone of Poison Girl. 
from Dior. This one, this one performs so much better though, and it's so it's so worth it to pick this one up instead of instead of Poison Girl because it just smells amazing. The only reason I got rid of this one is because I've got Poison Girl Unexpected, which is very, very similar. It's just got a ton of ginger in the top. But this one I like so much. Yeah, I kind of regret getting rid of that one because it ugh, is such a good fragrance. So anyways, that is our Moffa Turnia. I would say that yes, I regret getting rid of that one. Um, next we have this one here. This is Diesel uh, Plus Plus Feminine. This one leaned a little bit masculine to my nose. And that's why I got rid of it. Um, this is really pretty. It's kind of fresh, but I think this one's got, if I remember correctly, it's got like a milk note in it. So it's kind of fresh and spicy, a little bit sweet, kind of lactonic. Um, I don't regret getting rid of it though, because again, it leaned a little too masculine for me. So um, yeah, I'm not super upset that I let that one go. Next, we have got La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. And yes, I absolutely, I absolutely regret letting this go. Um, I really need to pick up another bottle of it. They have it on their website. On their website, it's only like $48. So I need to go ahead and pick up another bottle of this. They've got some other fragrances now too that I really want. They've got a summer one. Um, but yes, this is a beautiful, very complex, warm vanilla. Um, this was my replacement bottle too. I had already been through a full bottle before and this was my like, and this was the repurchased bottle. And I guess I thought because I'd already been through a bottle of it and I didn't reach for it very often that I, you know, needed to let it go. And I wish I hadn't. This one is an absolute regret. So anyways, that is La Vanilla Pure Vanilla, but I'm trying to get through that one because I don't want it to go bad. I can tell that it's changed just a little bit, and I feel like after another year or so, it will be off, um, and I don't want that to happen. Okay, next we have this one here. This is Ralph Lauren Woman Intense. This one I don't really regret getting rid of because it is like, it is really beautiful and warm and sweet. I think it's got tuberose in it. It's like a warm, sweet, white floral. Yeah, it's definitely got tuberose in it. It's beautiful. I'm This one I've pulled out because I wanna use it up. I don't want this to go off. It doesn't smell like it's changed at all yet. But yeah, I do wanna use this one up before it goes off. It's beautiful. I don't regret getting rid of it though because I don't think I would have ever, like I think it's gonna take me a while to even get through this decant because it's a very, um, it's a very sweet floral. So anyways, that is Ralph Lauren Women Intense. Really beautiful, but I don't regret that one. Okay, next we have got a, uh, this is a ganache fragrance. This is called Pistachio Gelato. And this one is a regret. And the reason I say that is because the reason I let this one go, yeah, the reason I let this one go is because it really didn't perform well on me at all and I felt like it was one of those fragrances that I would spray it on and I felt like I couldn't smell anything. But I feel like this one just needed to macerate because now it's really, really strong. Ugh. Like really, really strong. So yeah, I do kind of regret getting rid of this one um, just because yeah, it needed, I needed to let it macerate. Um, and I think if I had, I wouldn't have let it go. So anyways, that is pistachio gelato from Ganache. That is definitely a regret. Next we have Aqua de Parma Iris Nobile. This one I have not smelled for so long. Um, oh, this is really, really pretty. Um, but this one, this one I let go because I feel like this one smells a little bit, it smells a little bit too mature for what I usually like. I can tell this one has definitely started to change just a little bit, but yeah, I just didn't love how this one smelled. This was a blind buy. I think I found this bottle on Mercari. 
And yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't love this one. So that is Aqua de Parma Iris Nobile. I don't regret that one at all. Um, next we have a Britney Spears fragrance. This is Britney Spears Fantasy Intimate, um, Intimate Edition, I think is what it's called. And yes, I absolutely regret getting rid of this one. Um, I didn't, yeah, I didn't reach for this one a whole lot, and this one didn't perform very well on me at all, which is why I let this one go. But I do love how this smells. This, I should have just kept the bottle and used it as a bedtime scent. It's so beautiful. But yeah, it performed like trash on me, like really, really badly. But these... Britney Spears fragrances are becoming more difficult to find and because of that I really wish I would not have let this one go. So anyways that is Britney Spears Fantasy Intimate Edition. Okay next we have an Oscar de la Renta fragrance. This is Oscar de la Renta L'Esprit d'Oscar and this is a beautiful lipsticky iris fragrance. Um, oh this one is so darned good. This is another one I've pulled out because I want to use it before it goes off. This is beautiful. It is lipsticky. It is a really beautiful lipsticky iris fragrance, but this one is, it's got a really nice sweetness, like a really beautiful sweetness to it. And it's not overly powdery either. It's a really soft, smooth, floral. It's gorgeous. This one, um, I don't regret letting go of this because I don't think that it's one that I would have reached for often enough to have justified keeping the bottle, but I am glad to have a big decant of it. Um, this one I did pull out and I am going to use this up because I, this one is another one that I can tell that it has changed just a hair. So anyways, yeah, that is L'Esprit de Oscar, really beautiful fragrance. Okay, I'm gonna finish going through all the little ones and then we'll get back into the big ones and I'll try to get through these ones quickly. This one is called Jean Pateau Sierra de Indies. This one, um, this was one of those fragrances that when I first got it and sprayed it, I thought it, I really liked it. But then when I tried it on my skin, like when I actually went to test it, I, I ended up not. Yeah, this one's really pretty. This is kind of vintage smelling. Yeah, this one's very, um, very vintage style. It's really pretty, really, um, like citrusy, like aldehydes. It, it, you definitely get aldehydes in the top. Citruses, some bright crisp florals, a little bit of sweetness and some spices. Um, no, I don't regret getting rid of that one just because I would not have ever reached for it, so. Okay, next we have the Adam Levine fragrance. And no, I do not regret getting rid of this fragrance at all. This is like a light sandalwood fragrance and um, I don't need another sandalwood in my life. I've got like the king of all sandalwoods, which is the Killian Sacred Wood. And so any sandalwood fragrance from here on out, even Guerlain Samsara like pales in comparison to Killian Sacred Wood. So I, I like don't even want to put my nose on another sandalwood <laughs> perfume. So I don't regret that one at all. Okay, next we have Ariana Grande Thank You Next. So this is a this is a super fun, really, really sweet, kind of coconut fragrance. I get mostly coconut from this. Like really, really sweet, warm coconut. I really like it. Um, this one, oh my gosh, this has evaporated. I've got, I mean, this has evaporated. Almost more than half of this has evaporated, which is so sad. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one out. I'm gonna use it up before it goes bad or evaporates completely. Um, do I regret it? No, not really. All of the Ariana Grande fragrances that I have full bottles of are my favorite ones, and the ones that I don't, I'm okay without having full bottles of them. Okay, next we have Miller Harris uh, Noir de Tuberose. This is another one that, oh my gosh. Not only has it 
not only has this one really, really evaporated, it's oily. It's got like an oily, an oiliness to it. But this one does not smell like it's off or has changed at all. This one smells very, very intact. Um, I don't regret getting rid of it. I don't need, I like tuberose, but the only tuberose fragrance that I feel like I need in my life is my um, Alexander McQueen, McQueen Parfum. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm not, I don't feel like I need any more tuberose fragrances. Um, next we have Lanvin Modern Princess Eau Sensuelle. Uh, this one, no, I don't like this fragrance. It's okay, it's very pretty smelling, but it's got, I remember on my skin, it went very like synthetic cedar smelling. Like it had that synthetic light wood in the base, like pencil shavings, and I don't, I don't care for that. So yeah, I don't miss this one at all, and I'm not sad that I got rid of it. I am gonna try to use it up though before it goes off. Okay, next we have Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty. This is a beautiful fragrance. Um, yeah, it is. It's very, very nice, but again, it's got that synthetic pencil shaving, wood, like light woodiness in it that just is, and my skin, if that, if a fragrance has like a synthetic cedar or synthetic wood, like light wood note in it, my skin will completely pull nothing but that. And then that's all I can smell. So anyways, that is Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty. That is uh, definitely do not regret that one. Um, next we have Hene Mori Magical Moon. So this fragrance, I like this fragrance. It's kind of like a, it reminds me of like a fruit chuli. It's kind of like a warm fruit chuli kind of fragrance, which are, I'm not a fan of those kinds of fragrances. The only reason I held on to this fragrance for as long as I did is because I loved the bottle so much. But eventually I was like, you know what? You need to actually let that fragrance go to somebody that loves the fragrance and will appreciate the perfume instead of having a bottle another bottle to look at while the perfume goes bad and I didn't want that to happen. So yeah, I, I regret not having the beautiful bottle in my collection anymore, but I don't regret not having the actual perfume. Okay, next we have, this is Guerlain Le Petit Robe Noir Intense. This fragrance has a blueberry note in it and I found that for the most part, blueberry notes in fragrance don't work on my skin. Um, yeah, I just don't love them. I do love how this smells out of the decant. It's really like yummy and sweet and patchouli heavy and it's pretty, but I don't regret not having a full bottle anymore. Um, I'll probably wait for winter time and then pull that one out to try to use it up. Okay, next we have Calvin Klein Truth. This is actually a really beautiful fragrance. Uh, it's beautiful. It's green and soft. Yeah, it's like a soft green fragrance. Um, this one, I feel like it didn't work great on my skin chemistry, so I'm going to keep this one out. I'll tell you what, though. This one has hardly any evaporation in it, so this one has held up really well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pull this one out and try to wear this up before it evaporates anymore and goes bad. I really do like it. I just feel, and I love the way it smells out of the bottle. Um, but I feel like my skin didn't do great with this one, but I'll definitely update you guys as I wear through these. Um, I'm going to put them all with my Project Pan stuff too, as if I don't have enough to do with Project Pan, but um, I'm going to do that and then I'll keep you guys updated as to how, how if I get through these. Okay, next I've got Lancome Edol. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Edol, so... It smells pretty in the bottle, but this one goes bug spray on my skin. Um, this one has definitely changed a little bit too, so this is another one. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and see if I can't wear this um, and get through it before it goes completely off because this one has definitely changed. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of any of the Edol fragrances. I do, however, like Edol Aura. Um, I had, I smelled a little sample of that. I can't remember where. I can't remember if I smelled it in Ulta or I think I did. I think I was in Ulta one time and I smelled like I sprayed a strip and I really, really liked it. I felt like it was really pretty, um, but I would have to see how it does on my skin. 
Um, okay, here we've got another Guerlain. This is Guerlain Champs Elysees. This one is, this is a really beautiful spring-like floral. It's really gorgeous. Um, I don't really regret getting rid of this one or letting this one go just because I don't wear florals like this very often. Um, it does smell amazing. It has, again, changed just a hair. It's not like off or anything, but it's changed enough and it's evaporated halfway. So I'm gonna pull that one out and try and get through it. Um, next we've got Agent Provocateur La Jante. And this one, yeah, this is like a dark, spicy, kind of patchouli scent. Um, it's okay, I just think it smells a little bit generic. There's so many perfumes on the market like this now that, yeah, I just didn't think that there was anything special about it. But for being like a really inexpensive fragrance, it's definitely really, really nice. But yeah, I'm, I don't regret letting it go. Um, again, I'll wait till winter time and then I'll pull that one and try to get through it. Uh, here we have another Le, Le Petit Robe Noir. This is Black Perfecto. This is another one. It's held up pretty good as far as evaporation. It hasn't evaporated a ton. Um, Black Perfecto, I think, has like an almond note and a cherry note in it. Again, it's really pretty. It just isn't anything... Um, I'm just not a huge fan of the Le Petit Robe Noir line in general. So yeah, I didn't feel like I needed to hang on to my bottle, but again, I'll wait until winter time and then pull that one out and use it. It smells amazing, it hasn't gone off. Okay, next, holy cow. Um, this is from all of the fragrance net orders that I've gotten, and you know, they send you those little like samples of perfume from their like house line or whatever. Um, this one is called Simply Bell, and this is almost a 10 mil decant full of Simply Bell because I had so many samples, I just poured them into a 10 mil decant. I've got more. In fact, I could probably top it off. But anyways, yeah, this one is, it's really generic smelling. Generic, clean, kind of musky floral. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that one out though and try to use that up before it goes bad. Um, okay, this is another diesel fragrance. This is Diesel Zero Plus Feminine. And I honestly don't remember what this one smells like, but I feel like it must, I must have really actually liked this one since I did a 10 mil of it. Yeah, this one's really, really pretty, but yeah, this one's actually really pretty. It has changed just the slightest bit. But there was something about how this worked on my skin that I didn't love about it. But yeah, this one did something weird on my skin. But I'm going to leave this one out and try to get through it because it's... It could be worn kind of any time of year, and I, it already has started to go off a little bit, so I want to make sure I get through it before it does change totally. Okay, next we've got this one here. This is Michael Kors, just Michael, um, the original Michael Kors fragrance. This is a really beautiful tuberose fragrance, like really beautiful tuberose. This one has also kind of started to go off a little bit, so I'm going to pull that one out. Um, do I regret getting rid of that? No, no. I don't, um, just because again, I don't need a ton of tuberose in my collection. Um, next we've got Versace Woman. This one, this one also did the synthetic light wood. Yeah, this one's really pretty. This is like a light, it's like a light, citrusy, clean, soft floral. And I really liked this one, but again, it's got that light, synthetic wood in the base and that's all my skin pulls of these fragrances so yeah i don't regret getting rid of this one because it wasn't great on my skin but i am going to pull this one and try to get through it um because that one has changed just ever so slightly but it's funny because that one i think has changed for the better okay next we have got kenzo world power I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm gonna give the last little bit of this to my mom because it'll smell good on her. It doesn't smell good on me. 
it's this is a beautiful fragrance though this is so for being a designer fragrance oh it is so good it's like this really beautiful rich dense sweet salty fragrance it's really good again it just wasn't great on my skin so yeah even though I love the way that it smells it just didn't work for me but yeah that is Kenzo world power beautiful I'm gonna give that one to my mom okay next we have uh, this is a Salvatore Ferragamo fragrance this is Signorina Mysteriosa and this one I want to say that the reason I let this one go was because I felt like it was a little bit generic smelling um, yeah, I didn't feel like there was anything special about this one at all. This one also has changed just the slightest bit, but almost no evaporation with this one. It doesn't smell like it's changed. Ugh, this one is beautiful, sweet. It smells like sweet berries. Yeah, it smells like beautiful sweet berries. Um, do I regret getting rid of the bottle? No, not really. I am gonna pull. I'm gonna put this away for now, but I am gonna pull these. Um, these are more winter time. I am gonna pull this more in the winter time and try to get through that before it goes off. Um, next, we have Livia Bell Low Intense. This is a really pretty version of Livia Bell. I'm just not a huge fan of Livia Bell fragrances at all. Um, yeah. Ooh, this one. You know what? This one has changed just a hair as well. I feel like I can smell iris in this or like I smelled iris as soon as I sprayed it. Like I got a really beautiful kind of powdery iris note. That one's really, really pretty. Um, do I regret getting rid of it? No, because I would have never gone through a full bottle, but I am going to pull this and try to use as much as I can before it goes off. Okay, next. Next we have Kenzo World, and this one, this was another one that it just, it didn't work on my skin. Yeah, um, this one smells, it just smells really citrusy and fresh and like light florals. This also has a little bit of a saltiness to it. It's really fresh. Yeah, um, I don't regret letting this one go. Again, I am gonna pull it though to see how much of it I can get through before it goes off. But yeah, I don't regret that one. Okay, next we have Clinique Aromatics in Black. I didn't like this fragrance. This is kind of like a Yeah, it's kind of like a fruity patchouli kind of fragrance really not my cup of tea at all so i'll put that away until winter time and then try to pull it out and let it give it some love um next i have sarah jessica parker covet pure bloom and this one this one is really pretty it reminds me it's so funny it reminds me of like a light grape juice kind of scent it really does. It's like a light, it's a light floral. It's really pretty. I don't regret getting rid of it though, just because I don't wear straight up florals like this often. But yeah, again, I am gonna try to pull, I am gonna pull it out and try to get through it. Okay, next we have, this is Mugler Angel Eau Sucre. And this one's really pretty, but I don't regret getting rid of it at all. Um, my favorite angel is the EDT formulation. That's the only that's the only version of angel that I wear at all. So yeah, I didn't need this. It's pretty, but it's not. I don't know. There, it just wasn't wasn't anything I felt like I needed to keep in my collection. But I am gonna pull that one again in the winter time and try to get through it. Okay, next we have Lush Amelie May. Um, this one has not held up well at all. Yeah, this one is this one is going off with a quickness. So, in it might be. Yeah, this one is off enough that I won't even wear this anymore. Because it doesn't smell right at all. Like it doesn't even smell like what it used to smell like. 
So yeah, this one, sadly, this is just gonna go straight in the trash. I'm so sad that I like ruined 10 mil of this beautiful perfume, but yeah, that one didn't hold up at all. That is Lush Amelie May. Okay, next we have, this one is called Lalia Wander. But Lalia Wander, yeah, this was a fragrance. I found it at TJ Maxx and it's, um, ooh, this one has gone completely off too. Yeah, that is, well, yeah, this one has gone off. It's, you can smell it as it's starting to, starting to dry down on the paper. Um, you can smell, you can smell it, but it definitely has kind of gone off. I will probably still try to go through that because you can smell, in the dry down, it smells like what it used to smell like and I can, it's such a light floral, I can probably get through this little 10 mil in, in a, with a quickness. Um, but yeah, that one is called Lalia Wander. I'm gonna try to use that up very fast. Okay, next we have, um, this is Calvin Klein Euphoria Amber Gold. This one's okay, it's just kinda, this one smelled kind of generic to me too. It's just kind of like a dark, I don't know, kind of slightly spicy, slightly masculine leaning, um, spiced amber kind of fragrance. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I do not regret getting rid of that one at all. I'm just gonna hold on to that and try to use it this winter, I guess. Okay, next we have Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Um, yeah, this one, it still smells okay, but it's kind of, it's, this one is definitely changed in the decant, and yeah, that's another one I'll put away until winter. It might not even make it to winter, I don't know. Super sad. Okay, next we have Trezor La Nuit. I got super sucked into the hype of these Trezor La Nuit fragrances, like a long time ago. And these, I just, I'm not a huge fan. I'm just not a huge fan of Lancome fragrances in general. But yeah, this one, I don't love this. It's changed a little bit too. But actually this one, <laughs> it's actually changed for the better. I can mostly just smell like, like a creamy vanilla kind of fragrance now. It's held up, like it hasn't gone off at all, but it's changed a little bit. I definitely like it better now. So yeah, this one I'm gonna keep out. Um, and I'm gonna try to get through this one because I do think within a, a year or so that that one would definitely be off. Okay, last two. Um, next we've got my Burberry. I love this fragrance. It's such a beautiful fragrance, but I just knew that I would never go through a full bottle of it. Um, it's really, this one to me is very, very powerful. Um, it's like a very, this one is definitely changed too, which is super sad. It's, you can still smell it though in the dry down. You can still smell, it still smells how it's supposed to smell in the dry down, but it's, it's like the top notes have gone. And they probably have because of all the oxygen that they've come into contact with. The top notes are probably gone on all of them or on most of them. But yeah, I can still smell my Burberry in the base, but it's just not the same. This one has changed, which is super sad. I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to try to wear it and see what it's like when I put it on my skin. Um, it might be awful. If it's really, really bad, then I'll just go ahead and toss it. Um, but if not, I'll try to get through it. And then last but not least, we have La Nuit a la Folie from Lancome. And this one, ooh, I like this one better too. So these Lancomes have changed, for me, they've changed for the better. This one is really, it smells like a really sweet vanilla fragrance now. Ooh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna spray these on my hands. Make sure I don't have anything. Okay. Oh yes. I like these way better now. It's like the vanilla has really... Ooh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, I like them so much better now. It's like they're just straight vanilla fragrances at this point. Yeah, I like those both a lot better now. I'm not gonna have any problem getting through those decants at all. So, let's see. So out of all of those decants, the only ones that I regret getting rid of are Armafa Ternia, La Vanilla Pure Vanilla, uh, Britney Spears Fantasy Intimate, or Intimate Edition I think it's called, and pistachio gelato from ganache so i feel like i have done pretty good i've been through a lot though and i only regret getting rid of four of them so i do pretty good when i do when i do declutters i'm pretty good about knowing what i'm not gonna you know reach for again but every once in a while i do make a mistake for sure so anyways you guys i'll keep you updated on how i'm able to get through these. I will definitely, they're all going into my project pan. But yeah, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.